I took a bipod that I already had and I noticed that there's a hole in the middle here. So I took, this has a keeper ring right there. So I took that keeper ring off. There's also a little metal bracket that goes right in there. I lost that, but I took it off. And then you just pull these pieces out and take this apart. So you no longer need these pieces. Tied them up with a bread tie. So now I have a bipod with a hole in the middle of it. I got on computer and looked for an Arca rail. Oh, that's blurry. There we go. Sorry. Looked for an Arca rail adapter. When I did that, I came up with this. It's a camera adapter, but it's a 50 millimeter quick detach adapter for a camera. So most of you already know what I'm going to do. So I'm going to do it quickly. Came in a box like this. Opened it up. This piece comes with a fitting to catch the quarter 20 bolt. Took a quarter 20 bolt washer and I stuck it in here like this. See that? Then, so I am right handed, so now the bipod will fold up, the legs will come up. I want the knob to be on the right side for me, so I just took this piece and attached it. So give me just a second, I'm going to put the, run the bolt through there with my socket. Oh, camera. Run the bolt through there with my socket and I'll be right back. put the bolt in that's what it looks like from the top you have your quick detach loosen it up slide it on the rail tighten it back up and the bipod looks like this so it's just a regular old cheap bipod you can get anywhere and that piece on Amazon I paid a little over thirteen dollars for it So the only other thing you'll need is a quarter twenty bolt and a washer and once you do that, you will have a bipod for your Arca rail if you decide to do that. Won't be able to see the level, so it's pretty much useless. But there is a DIY Arca rail bipod.